Hi, this is Alan Olson, Managing Partner of Greenstone Roca Olson Company, and welcome to Tax Corner. Today I want to talk about audit risk in collectibles. If you're involved in collecting, there are definitely some risks that may lead you into an IRS audit. Collectors who conduct their business as self-employed dealers are more at risk for an IRS audit than collectors who do not conduct their business with a self-employed status. A self-employed status targets these collectors for potential IRS audits. The IRS categorizes self-employed individuals as high-risk individuals for tax audits, mainly because the IRS feels that they underreport their income and abuse deductions available to self-employed individuals. If you are a dealer of collectibles, be sure to be organized with your records and report all of your income. Self-employed dealers are not the only ones that are at risk for audits. If you own a collectible item and donate it to a charity, you may be making yourself a target also. With respect to making donations which exceed $5,000 in value, an appraiser should be contacted. The appraisal of the item being donated should be made within 60 days of the contribution being made to the charity. If your appraisal fee exceeds 2% of your adjusted gross income, then it's deductible. Now, if you have an appraisal or no appraisal, then the IRS may utilize their own appraisal committee known as the Art Advisory Panel. If your donation ends up being listed on your tax return and being overvalued by more than 150% of the fair market value as determined by the IRS, then the IRS may assess you with an additional 30% penalty of the amount of tax that you owe. This is Alan Olson, and we'll see you next time on Tax Corner.